up? How's everybody doing? What's going on? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I guess y'all heard the story about these two teens sitting up on YouTube making a racist video. And it's kind of sad, though, that these two girls would do this. Now, I'm going to play some of the video for you. Okay, so this is my second time recording this. I am making a video to answer all the questions I got about my racist posts. Actually, not questions. The hate mail I got. You guys, like, it, it's like you think you're hurting me, but it, you're not. I'm sorry. Okay, so, first question. Most of the country is poor now. Of course, there are going to be a large percent of a percentage of blacks using food stamps. A lot of people are using food stamps. I'm sure there are people from every race manipulating the system somehow. You're not even a taxpayer, and you're mad. Your general argument is really close-minded. Close but seeing as how you're comfortable broadcasting your racism, you obviously don't care. A valid argument isn't blacks going welfare, it's fucking racists like you, and you don't even see that. I don't have a problem with people using food stamps. Or welfare. Or welfare. It's people who take advantage of it. Like, what were you saying before? The, like, people who, black people, well, I we, black okay, people. there's probably white people who do it I, too, but this Wait, is first off, let me just say, we go to a large high school, there are about 2,000 students. 60% of them are black. There's like a 10% of like Asian, whatever, blah, 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 all those things. And then there's white people, which is not Mexican. My family, half my family is from Cuba. The other half is Irish American, some other bunch of crap. I don't know. Um, so your argument's invalid. You, there are barely any black yeah. people there. Here, there are so many black people. The welfare here is, how many white people do your welfare here? Probably like twenty percent. Yeah. Okay. I have said this before. Thirty. Every argument I have is based off of where I live. It's a ghetto place. If you lived here, you would understand. You would not like these black people. That's that's my argument. Like it's where we live. I have been raised around them. It's how it's, they are. It's not even black people themselves it's, it's the niggers. niggers like there's a difference there's black people they're fine they're educated they now hold on now this girl both of them said the n-word they said niggers and first they start off with saying black folks on where on welfare then the little girl in the glasses said white folks on food stamps too and welfare too but they go on talking shit about black folks. Then they went from saying black folks on welfare to niggers on welfare. Now, it's kind of sad that these two girls sitting up here talking about black folks. And she, they, they, she, they, she said she grew up around black folks. I said, no, she didn't. If she grew up around black folks, you wouldn't be calling them niggers and shit. She said she got a friend at Marcel. And he makes jokes, and he's black, and he makes fun of black folk. Well, when you're black, you're going to make some jokes about the black community because, you know, there's black comedians out there that do it. And it's kind of fucked up that these girls go on YouTube and make these damn rants about black people. And then I found out that the girl in the glasses gets on YouTube again and makes an apology video, and I thought that was kind of fucked up. And I'm going to play some of that, too, because I thought it was just fucked up. I thought it was just kind of fucked up that this white girl going to come on here. These two white girls going to come on about ranting and raving about black folks. And then thinking that someone, they're going to get a... So, no, here, here's the, the apology video. video. Because a lot of people know me now. Because <laughs> of a really racist video that got posted that I was a part of. Um, I'm making this so I can say how sorry. I am for everything. When I made that video, when I was part of it, I wasn't thinking now, about any of this. I wasn't thinking. Now this is now this is fucked up that this this girl apologized from for the racist rant video she did. Racist rant video she did suspecting that we're gonna sit there and forgive her that fucking quickly to me I think it's bullshit like how you gonna sit up there and do a rant video about about black folks 
and then do an apology video about it. Now I'm going to show you the report, the, the news report about this, and I thought it was kind of fucked up, and I was like, but here it is. I'm going to show y'all. It is amazing what one YouTube video can do. Here at Gainesville High School, a 14-minute racist rant produced by two girls has their 1,800 classmates talking and is being viewed by people all over the world. According to most of the kids on campus, they're not welcome here anymore. But this duo's YouTube moment is far from over. We use actual words. Black people do not. This goes on for 14 minutes. A racist rant on African Americans by two Gainesville High School students had their entire school talking. I was like, are you serious? The racism is just wrong, in my opinion. I don't like that. And neither do school administrators. The students are leaving Gainesville High School and uh, will not be students here. Principal David Shellnut says the video was first brought to his attention on Wednesday during lunchtime. There's no place for that in the Alachua County Public School System, and in my opinion, no place for that in society in general. The girls don't stop with comments toward their classmates. They go on to insult the Gainesville Police Department, whose officers are now protecting them from death threats. Both of the females that are seen in the video have received death threats. Their families have been threatened. Eight officers have been placed on campus, and others are patrolling the girls' neighborhoods. They probably would have gotten beat up if they were still here, just because, I mean, there probably would have been white people jumping them. But the video hasn't caused any fights or arguments on this campus so far. We don't do racism in this school. Like, we are like all like one in this way. There's no greater storm than the hurricanes, and this isn't going to break us down. This isn't going to pull us apart. We we don't let two people speak to, for a thousand. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this, though. I'm going to tell y'all this, that when I saw that video about the news report and all this and then, I thought it was like, okay, the girl with the glasses apologized, and I thought it was kind of bullshit that this girl sit up here and apologize, trying to apologize for something. To, both of them trying to apologize for what what they put up. Now I'm gonna show you or uh, what the what the girls' parents and what they said on the in a report. And I thought I was like, okay, I gotta show this too. But this is the girl with the glasses. The girl and the one for the parents is it if apologies says I am very one of the girls who was in the racist video perhaps in the way da, 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 da can tell people how truly sorry I am. I never I could never in a million years have pictured this would happen involving the ra I was she wasn't raised like that and then you find out that this other girl fell into a her daughter like the girl fell into a deep depression from the backlash of the video. And this is all down in Gainesville, Florida now. Gainesville, Florida. And to me, it's like this, man. How are you going to, like, like this? You shouldn't sit up there and post YouTube videos like that. And they wonder why. Like, I'm all for, I like, look, I'm all for freedom of speech, though. I'm all for it, but. You I guess they didn't learn from the girl that was in US, uh, USC, the girl from the USC, UFC, whatever, US, ULCA, because these girls are in high school, they went to Gangville, Florida High School, and they, and they post a racist video thinking that nobody will watch it, and that's full, that's BS, that's bullshit. How are you going to sit up here and do a racist video talking about black folks and you don't know shit about black folks? How are you going to sit up and talk all this shit about black people? Oh, I live, I grew up around them. If you grew up around them, you ought to know not every black person is going to be on welfare and on food stamps. And you sit up here and you make this fucking BS video suspecting nobody would say nothing. You was wrong. Everybody saying something about it. Y'all just got caught. See, this is what these damn teenagers, ever since YouTube came out, ever since YouTube came out, these kids have lost their damn mind. 
See, back when I was their age, when I was 14, 15, we didn't have fucking YouTube. We didn't have fucking YouTube. We had internet, but we didn't have fucking YouTube. We didn't have no Facebook. We had MySpace. We had MySpace, what, you, Yahoo, MSN. We didn't know, I didn't even know what a Skype was. And we had MySpace. And this girl, these two girls go on YouTube bitching and raving about black folks don't know shit about black people and in the in the worst time they in the worst time they ever did it too they they did in the worst time black history month how you gonna do a racist video in black history month like i ain't gonna go to i ain't gonna go sit there and talk shit about latinos on mexican month spanish month there you go spanish month I'm not gonna go to a Chinese Chinese person on Chinese New Year and say fuck Chinese people. I'm not gonna go up to a Jew on Hanukkah and say fuck Jews and fuck Hebrews. I ain't gonna go up to black people that celebrate Kwanzaa. I said fuck Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a uh, rip off of of Hanukkah. I'm not. I'm never gonna sit there and rant and rave like they did just to get my name put out there because it's bullshit that these two girls lord that did this shit just to be famous why would you ever do that in your motherfucking life is get on youtube and rant and rave about black folks that you don't even know sitting up there thinking that you know every black person in america sitting up there saying this shit oh black folks yeah we ain't mean for you big nah -uh. we got a mixed biracial president that's half black Look at Connor Lisa Rice, black, that worked in the White House. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Look at Martin Lawrence. Look at Eddie Griffin. Look at all these damn black folks that are, uh, are famous and did something over the history of time. And you gonna go on and say black folks was on welfare because that's all they know is to get pregnant and stay on welfare there's white folks that are on welfare there is latinos on welfare and cubans and chinese and indians and irish and any other minority there is there are, there's a lot of minorities on fucking welfare and food stamps but these two girls had the audacity to get on youtube ranting and raving about one minority blacks and then the girl in the glasses got the audacity to do a fucking apology video. I don't think that was unnecessary. See one thing you see one thing they're not getting these damn death threats. I said to, to me, to me my I'm I'm gonna be a little ugly a little bit. To me I'm on my ugly side I'm about to say, well, they deserve the death threats because they were stupid enough to put up this video. If you got thoughts, write it down in a book. If you have thoughts about that, about minorities, you write it down in a little journal or something. You don't post a video about it. Fuck black folk about this and that. You don't. You don't do that. That's getting. That's gonna get you in trouble. I can't believe down in Florida these damn kids are acting foolish. First it was that UCLA girl. Now it was two girls down in Florida talking shit about black folks. I said, I guess they didn't learn a damn thing when that damn girl from college, UCLA, UCLA, when she got fucked up because she said, Chank, she said, Chinese. I don't mean to call them Chanks, because they not Chanks, they Chinese or Japanese, or Asians, as you put it. Now, I'm going to tell you this, I'm, I'm half black, I would never call myself African American, because I was not born in Africa. There's blacks that doesn't want to be called African American because they wasn't born in Africa. You can't call them Afro American because every Afro, every black person doesn't have an Afro. <laughs> and these, I said, this is, see, this is what happens when bad parenting sits in place. When parents are not sitting up there doing their job, this is what happens when they allow their kids to get on fucking YouTube. That's bad parenting. When you allow your child to do a YouTube video ranting and raving about a minority, then that makes you look like a fool. People are calling these damn kids racist. They got death threats on them. It's because of bad parenting. And plus, they was not thinking 
well, I ain't gonna, you know what, I ain't gonna sit up there and back them. I'm trying to try to protect them. They deserve what the fuck they got. They should think, they should think before they act. And I, I know it's probably gonna hit TV on Inside Edition, Dr. Phil, whoever, whoever. Because one thing is, they need to be talked bad about on national TV, too. Because one thing is, I don't think that they should be doing shit like this, man. Because one thing is, one thing leads to another. There's an act, there's an action and there's a reaction. Their action was talking shit about black folks, and the reaction was them death threats and getting kicked out of school. If they get kicked out of school, if I was running, if I was prince, if I was a, a, a superintendent, I wouldn't let them in my schools, any of my schools. If I was superintendent of any school. Because I wouldn't allow this. I wouldn't allow two girls that did a racist video on YouTube into my school. Because one thing is, how you know they're going to do it again? How you know they're going to do it again? That whole shit was a... Uh, come on now, y'all got to think about this, man. Why the hell did they, these people... Why the hell did these girls do this? Why did they do this? Why the fuck did they do this? In the first place. To be funny, to make a name for themselves. Look... I didn't start off talking shit about race just to make a name for myself. I started talking off about celebrities. I said, fuck Chris Brown. He needs to be in prison for hitting Rihanna. If he can hit a, if he can hit a woman, he can sit in the prison cell. I started talking about Miley Cyrus. Then I started talking about other things. Then I moved myself up from talking about celebrities to current events. Then I started going to current events to people. What the fuck wrong with people and all this shit. But these girls went straight to it and said, Black folks, niggas, and shit. You don't hear me walking around saying crackers, honkies, Mr. McGee. Do you? No. But you see these damn teenagers sitting up there doing these videos. Now, this goes, I'm saying to every fucking teenager out there, watch what, I always said in my videos before, watch what the, watch what you say and do on the internet because there's gonna be, there's gonna be consequences of what you do. It seems like they don't care. It seems like they don't care. Now these girls have got to hide for their lives. They got to go into hiding for their lives because the racist remarks. And you in the wrong state to be saying nigger too. You live in the South and I don't think you need to be saying nigger on a video on YouTube. I say I'm glad that you ain't living up here in my state. Because I'm in Tennessee, man. I'm, I'm from Tennessee. If you was living up here, girl, your ass would have been found and choked out. I'm just saying, because some of these black folks, like not all blacks, but some, some of them will find you and beat the shit out of you because this is unnecessary for two young girls to get on fucking YouTube and make a racist rant about black people and they don't know who. They don't know shit about black folks. Just because you got black friends or black classmates doesn't make you black. Just because you learn black history doesn't make you black. Just because you listen to rap music and you think black folks are all the same. We're not all the same. Whatever you see in a movie, see in a show, or hear on rap music, black folks are not like that. All black folks are not like that. I said, and y'all deserve the punishment that you're getting. Y'all deserve it. Y'all might think I'm cruel and all that. They just want to just, just kid. Fuck it, man. If they can sit up there and make uh, adults, this, uh, adult decisions, this, decisions, they can take the adult consequence. So he's my warning, teenagers. Watch what the fuck you say and do on this YouTube shit. And you won't get in trouble. Your life won't have to be threatened or anything. Because one thing is one fuck up will get you hurt. One fuck up can get you hurt or killed. Because you don't know who the fuck you talking about. Because whatever you say in the video might fuck you up. And this is, if you don't like, this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, move the fuck on. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe DeWookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Subscribe to Mother Wookie on Mother Wookie. And uh, if you like what I got to say, leave a comment or video response. This has been Afro Joe.
watch what the fuck you say and do on the internet please please this has been Afro Joe peace